I have a problem. I keep seeing these amazing renders from these top tier Blender creators, and every time I revisit them, I can't help but wondering what is the secret that they know that I don't? How are they able to create these insanely realistic and detailed scenes, and I simply can't? And after going into a bit of research myself, I think I've- well, actually, how would I just show you? Wait, pause, I really want this video to be completely uninterrupted. And in an effort to not stop that flow, I'm going to just tell you about the sponsor right now. So yeah, today's video is sponsored by Wingfox. And if you haven't heard of them, don't worry, they're pretty much the leading website for all types of CGI and VFX courses you can possibly imagine. They've got some really good tutorials and courses along with project files for all of them so you can experiment with the final result to achieve whatever type of thing you want. I personally like to recommend this Blender tutorial bundle by Jorge Barrero, and it basically covers a bunch of different stuff, all from storyboarding your scenes to creating really cool stylized environments. This course has personally inspired me to create this render, which I'm really happy with, and I've received amazing feedback too as well. So if you want to check that out, make sure to click the link in the description, and then use the coupon code WFR15 to receive an additional 15% off to the already discounted price. So check it out, and I'll see you there. All right, back to the video. All right, so yeah, the thing I was trying to show you in the beginning of the video is actually this, the grill. And the reason for that is if you go up close to it, you're going to notice signs of dust, scratches, fingerprints, it's all over. And this is just a natural thing in the real world. If you pick up any object, next to you, you're going to notice there's some type of scratches or fingerprints or some type of dust and deformation around the object. So essentially, the next time you create material, instead of just taking the roughness and setting that to zero, I'd recommend you go onto textures.com and try to find some type of concrete or fingerprint texture. I really like using concrete textures because they have just a lot of random detail. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to download that, open up Blender, load it in, and then plug that into the roughness. However, between those, I'm going to add in a color in. And this I can use to furthermore control the image texture to manipulate the result I want. And as well as that, a lot of the times I like to take the same exact image texture and plug that into the normal tab through a bump mode. And then I like to take the height value, decrease that a bit so it's not like straight in your face. And uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. And this is the final setup. I use this in pretty much every single one of my renders for like all the background elements and random details and everything. However, what I realized is I'm starting to set this up for like every single material in my scene. And so now I've actually launched a brand new Blender add-on, which will do this with the click of a single button. Literally, you just click this little button here, it creates a material, sets up all the nodes, and all you have to do is open up whatever image texture you want to use. So if you want to check that out, the link is in the description. And as well as that, the first three people to use the coupon code LAUNCH100, all caps, will get the add-on completely for free. So yeah, thank you for watching, subscribe if you haven't already, make sure to click the video on screen now to learn how to create your own image textures so you don't have to download them online.